That's that word with it. That's what they have for you. Yeah, for you, dog. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For the customs of the people of Zane, for one cut up a tree out of the forest. Now let's deal with the, the, uh, with the turkey thing, man. How many of you brothers through the years have eaten turkey sandwich? Two days later after the turkey sandwich. No, now technically, technically, we're not supposed to celebrate any of these high holy days, man. First Corinthians 10 and 24. Let no man seek his own, but every man another's wealth. Whatsoever is sold in the shambles. That's it. Now, y'all know what the shambles are? You know what the shambles are? Shambles is another way from, uh, of saying meat market. So, back when I was a kid, you, you didn't have a big supermarket. You had meat markets, man. You, you had like a regular little super, like, a, like a little supermarket. Oh, yeah, yeah. Little market, market. market. And then you had the meat market where you go to the butcher. Yeah. And you would have all kinds of meat all yeah. over. Now, they, now what they do is they got it in the supermarket. All together. You know? So that's the shambles where you got one piece of meat over there, you got another piece over there, you got lambs in the back, and they just want it. So you would ask the guy, well, look, I want this lamb. I want this. I want that. So now as you read down, this is going to explain to you that if you, if you don't know that he's bringing over the meat, can you go ahead and eat it? Right. Right. Go ahead. It says, whatsoever is sold in, sham in the shambles, that eat, asking no questions. Ask asking no questions. Go ahead. For conscience sake. For conscience sake. Go ahead. For the earth is the Lord, and the fullness thereof. Go ahead. If any of them that believe not give you to a feast, and ye be disposed to go, whatsoever is set before you, eat. Read that again. It says, if any, if any of them that believes not, what is it them? The Israelites. Because what was Paul, John, and Peter John to go and try to wake up really <laughs> to wake up the Gentiles? Did he say he magnified his office? So you had to go and get on his good side. And then you tell them about the Gentiles. Go ahead. It says, uh, if and a lot of them that were inviting you to eat, they were praying to different idols and shit. Yeah. And Paul knew that. It says, if any of them that believe not, uh, bid you to a feast, and ye be disposed of. Now, now, the fact that they're not believers, and they bid you to a feast, what, what is a feast thing? A feast is something that you worship or something. Maybe your father died or, you know, uh, uh, a birthday. It's for a feast day. That's why you have it every year at the same time. Okay? That's a feast. Yeah, right. You have a birthday party, yeah. it's a feast. Yeah. Every year uh, for this particular guy that was born on this day. Yeah. So Paul knew that they were praying to other gods. Right. Right. Now if they said, look, I prayed to this God. Paul said, don't pray. Read, read on. Said, and you be disposed to go whatsoever is set before you. Eat. Asking no questions for conscience sake. Asking no questions for conscience sake. Go ahead. It says, but if any man say unto you, this is offered in sacrifice unto idols, eat not for his sake that shall Oh, by the way, I can do this in the name of uh, uh, Marcus. Right. Right. And then you say, no, I can't eat it. Yeah. All right? Yeah. Go ahead. It says, uh, eat not for his sake that showed it, and for conscience sake, for the earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof. Conscience, I say, not thine own, but of the other. For why is my liberty judge of another man's conscience? You know, because that he's saying that you know if you if you do if you if you were to eat it, he's gonna look at. And he was invited to eat at a feast 
of, of an Israelite that didn't know he was an Israelite or didn't believe in how shot, can that Paul know that he prayed to that other guy? <laughs> because the guy was an unbeliever. You gotta believe in something, right? So Paul would have ate the turkey, man. Paul would have ate that turkey sandwich, man. <laughs> it says, for if I by grace be a partaker, if I by grace, go ahead. Why am I evil spoken of for that? Why am I evil spoken of? <laughs> now wait a minute, that brother out there in Mississippi could be the Apostle Paul. It says, <laughs> I don't think Apostle Paul out here on 34th Street today. He's in Mississippi. Just joking. It says, for if I by grace be a partaker, why am I evil spoken of? Let me down. If I by grace eat something that was made for an idol, if a key word grace, because you're trying to set the soul in it, go ahead. Why am I evil spoken of? Why am I evil spoken of? Yeah. Why is this such a big deal? Yeah. Go ahead. It says, for that for which I give thanks. For that. Paul said, because I prayed over it myself, yeah. he said it made me a house. Look, man, any place that you go to eat at, any place that you go in this, in this country to eat at, them, them crackers, when they saw them cows, they pray to sweet Jesus over it, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anytime you go to like a, a Kenny fried chicken or a Bobby fried chicken, don't you know them fucking Arabs pray over that goddamn uh, chicken, man? Halal. 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 Halal means... It, it, it only becomes halal when they pray to Allah over that shit, man. Yeah. When you have the Passover and you get your wine, right? Well, you drink the honey wine, right? When you get when you have the Passover meal, they say that they say, don't they have when you get it boxed up and all that? The rabbis pray. So what do you do? You pray over just like Paul said. You pray over it and you put your blessing over it, man. That shows you, my man, you ain't on no level level out of thing. You can come back and make a comeback video all you want, man. Yeah, you don't know when you go to the store to buy the lamb, you know, to cook it, if, they, if somebody had already uh, sacrificed that lamb. And they're, God, and they're God. God. And they're God. They said, ask no question for conscience sake, man. And then, uh, the, the, the key thing was Paul prayed over, over it anyway, man. So whatever demons was on that feet, he got rid of that demon and put a blessing on him, man. It's going to be 700 on right there. Do you understand that? It's yeah. simple to understand, it's right? Easy. It's easy. And why didn't Allah say he's going to stand? Because he's full of shit, man. He's full of shit. Because the Lord ain't something strict. He's trying to nip, pick or find something to pick at. But then on top of all that, the brother took low yeah. and said that still he was sorry, man. Yeah, still you just give me that in the uh, math. Still not good enough. Not good enough. <laughs> nah, they, but they it's good blood, enough for man. polite. They want a pound of flesh. Yeah. Well, look, but, but, but here, here you got polite, a shot up the Bible, right. and he's right. trying to save this guy. He didn't, he didn't apologize for that. Oh, he was kissing his ass last night. Matthew 18 and 15. Moreover, if thy brother shall trespass against thee, Go and tell him his fault between thee and him alone. <laughs> Hold up, now you now you went off on that because you made a video cutting the guy. Now I'm guilty of that too. You know, I, because I got on you about that you went off. I went and made a video, but guess what? I repented for that. Have you repented for what you did? See, no matter which way you come at us, man, we can always say, look, you repented in that message. Hey, the, the biker's jacket. Did not recall repent over that. Did not curse him out. Yo, what the fuck is that? All right, brother. I, 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 I repent it, brother. So you can repent, my man. That's right. See? All, all men of sin. But that's not good be, for them. Because we didn't, we didn't blast him against the Holy yeah. Spirit. All men of sin can be forgiven. That, that's it. That's it. But they, those guys, they're not into mercy. Nah, that's the script to speak about. The, you got. Yeah, yeah. Well, Matthew 20, yeah, uh, the, uh, the other law, the law of faith, yeah, yeah, judgment, yeah, mercy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, 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 and yeah, which I said, uh, uh, if you would have known what this needed, I would have mercy, not sacrifice, yeah. and not condemn the just. Because you know? how should I even cursed out? Uh, uh, what's that? James, James and John. They said should fire. And then how should I looked at it? What kind of what kind of spirit are you in? You know. <laughs> They wanted destruction, you know? Yeah. You guys act like they so holy, man. They're yeah. so righteous, man. You know? Frank Drackman. Frank Drackman. It says, if he shall hear thee, thou hast gained thy brother. Now, the first thou your brother, now you say, I'm not your brother. Now, the reason why I didn't come to you alone 
one on one because I thought you were damn demon, man. I basically exposed you, man. So the brother got your ass. That check, check the thing. Because he came back and said, uh, he came back and said, look, I apologize. How you gonna get around that, man? That's, that's humility, man. Now give me Matthews. I guess we ain't gonna get.